Kia ora tamariki ma. Kia ora tamariki ma. Kei te pehi a koe. Kei te pehi a koe. Kei te pā. Kei te pā. You having a good Sabbath morning? Oh, that's we're good. We're doing a different one. Yeah, we are. We're going to have a new story today. Welcome to our Tamariki Sabbath School. Do you know what our story is about today? It's about a wedding. A wedding is when a man and a woman get married. And this is a story about a wedding in the Bible. And Jesus was at this wedding. Now, when you go to a wedding, so there's some things that you need to do to prepare. Lots of things to do to prepare. You have to wear nice clothes. And you have to, when people get ready for a wedding, they bring all their best cutlery and things to eat. Make nice things for everybody to eat. Make nice food. Have nice and food. Me and Georgia at Corey's wedding. Yeah. We ran in Little Brother Jack. That's right. We had we went to a wedding not very long ago, didn't we? No. For our cousin. This, That's right. And they had all the best dishes out and everything. And you know, when you go to a wedding, they have usually places set for everybody. And at the place names, they have at the tables. They have little names, and here's one. Here's a name on this one. And what does that name say? Helen. Helen, that's right. So there's Helen's little place setting. And then at this particular wedding in the Bible, there were some special people at the wedding. Who was at the wedding? Can you see who that is? That was Jesus. So he might have had a little name place for his place at the table so that he knew where to sit. So we'll put a little place tag down there. And there was someone else that was at the wedding too. It was his mama. His mama's name was Mary. And maybe Mary had a little place name for her name as well. So we'll put that down. And they were having a great time at the wedding. Do you like, did you have a good time at your cousin's wedding? You did, eh? It was such a nice time. Everyone's talking. Everyone's having a good time. And Baba Jack was running. Me and Georgia and Eli. And you were all running Jack. around, weren't you? And all the kids ran around at the and weddings, so that's and much of, lots of fun. And we saw a helicopter moving. That's right. There was a helicopter that we saw in the sky, didn't we? And, no, and we saw it on the ground. In the ground as well. Yeah, that's right. But at this particular wedding, when there was Mary and there was Jesus, somebody came up to Mary and they said, oh, there's a problem. We've got a problem at the wedding. Everybody who likes to have something to drink, their glasses are empty because they've run out of grape juice. Oh, that's no good. It would be a bit embarrassing to have a whole lot of visitors come and you've run out of grape juice. And Mary went to Jesus and she said, Do you know what, we've got a problem. We've got no more wine for people to drink. And Jesus said, well, it's a bit soon for me to do any miracles. But because he loved his mama... He said, okay, all right, I'll help out. So his mother didn't lose any time. She said to the servants, now look, whatever he tells you to do, I want you to do it. So the servant said, right, okay, we'll listen to this man. So he said, okay, give me a water jar. I want you to get a big water jar. And I want you to um, fill it up with water. And they said, he said, what have you got? And they said, well, we don't have any grape juice, but we do have some water. So he said, that's fine, okay, get some water, fill up all the jars with water. Maybe they had some jars like this. Can you see this jar of water and here? there's water. And there's water in there, that's right. And is this one empty or is this one full? Empty. It's empty. And he said to them, well, why don't you get the water and why don't you pour it into there? Grape And what happened? Grape what did that make? Grape juice. Grape juice. Oh, do you think that that made the people happy? Do you think that, that it made the servants relieved? Yeah. Oh, they, they had something to drink after all. And then when they served it all up to all the guests, the guests said, this stuff is better than the last stuff, than the stuff from the beginning. And it made everyone so happy. Do you think that Mary would have been happy? Do you think that the bride would have been happy? Do you think that the groom would have been happy? And do you know what? When everyone was happy, it made Jesus happy too. And that reminds me of our Bible text that we're going to that we had for this week. Do you want can to say I it with put, me? Can I put this in there? You can put it in there if you like. It's going to go back down to the bottom. And then I'll put. And how are you going to get it out? 
Um, I'm going to put my sleeve up. You're going to put your sleeve up. Okay. Like this. <laughs> well, the memory verse. Can I put my You can put it in there. Oh, you're, it's getting full with your hand in there. Why? Right. i better hold it in case you knock it over. It says, burst into songs of joy. What does joy mean? Don't know. Joy means to be happy. Joy means to be happy. Burst into songs of joy. Can you say that with me, Helen? Burst into songs of joy. Isaiah 52, verse 9. Can you say that along with us? Burst into songs of joy. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little story. Just remember that in the Sabbath school lesson today, we listened to the story about how Jesus did something to make other people happy. And you can do little things to make other people happy too. And